Hi there and welcome to the QImage Ultimate instructional video on the Print Unclog pattern. The Print Unclog tool is part of the file menu and we use it to print purge sheets to our printers. There are two purposes for printing purge sheets to your printer. One is to try to free minor clogs without having to use the cleaning cycle in the driver which can use a lot of ink. And the second and actually more important purpose is to periodically print purge sheets to one or more printers to keep them exercised so that they don't dry out from inactivity. The most common cause of clogs in inkjet printers is the printer being inactive or not used very often. So we can schedule unclog jobs or purge sheets to be printed every day, every two days, every three days, and so on. And we'll take a look at how to do that here in this video. When you first bring up the print unclog tool here, you'll see that you really can't do anything until you add your first unclog job. So what we're doing here is we're creating an unclog job that defines the printer and the driver settings to use for that job. And then after we create the job, we can print or schedule it. So you can see here that it says click the plus button to create your first unclog job. So I'll click this plus button and create a new job. And this will be my first one. I'm just going to drop this down and select the Epson P400. So I can select a different printer here and then I'll go into properties. And just quickly, I'll mention that uh, glossy paper is fine. Um, the main thing you want to do in the driver is turn off color adjustment, turn color management off in the driver. And what that does is allows us to isolate the color channels pretty accurately so that when we print magenta, we get mostly magenta ink. When we print cyan, we get mostly cyan and so on. So that's why we're turning off color management in the driver. The other settings aren't as important, um, but we can mess around with speed and uh, quality and select different paper types. If we want to create a job that purges the matte black ink, we could choose a matte paper. Uh, here I'm leaving it on glossy so that we get photo uh, black ink being used. but when we select the paper type to do that, we can always load the cheap copy paper in the printer just to accept our ink because we don't care what the printout looks like. We're just exercising our nozzles at this point. So now that I've turned off color management in the driver and I've made a decent selection for the paper type and I'm using letter size paper, which is a, a good size to print, I'll just click OK and then click OK to save out this dialog. Now that I've created that new setup by choosing the options in the driver, it'll ask me to name this. And I could add something on here like glossy at the end or uh, put my own name in here, but this is fine. It comes up with the name of the printer by default. So I'm just going to click OK on that. And now we have our first print unclog job. And you'll see that the buttons down here become active. I can now print it, queue it, schedule it, uh, do a bunch of things. But you'll notice that the next thing we have to do here, now that we've identified the driver properties, um, we can go in here and click on that and change them if we like, but we've already created those when we created the new job here. But I do know that my P400 does not have green ink, uh, it does not have blue ink. So I'm going to uncheck those. And generally what we want to do here is just check the color inks that our printer uses. And we can also select whether we want to print a half page unclog or purge sheet or a full page. And I'll just leave it on full page. So now we have created this unclog job for the P400. And I'm just going to do one more just to show you how to do multiple printers. I'll click here and create a new one and go to my Canon Pro 100. And I'll just use the regular driver here. And I'll go to Properties. And under Properties, 
Again, I'll just, I like to select a glossy paper so I can make sure the photo black ink is being exercised. I'll put it on high quality. And here I'm going to do the same thing I did in the Epson driver, but the menus are a little bit different. Uh, under this color intensity here, this is where the color management options are. Click on matching. And the first time you do this in the driver, it takes few seconds for it, the driver to build the list of profiles and things like that but I'm gonna select none here click OK and now I've turned off color management in the Canon driver so always turn off color management in the driver and I've done that now and I'm gonna OK out of the driver again it will ask me the name and this is fine it shows me the name of the printer and I'm only gonna use one job for that so that's fine for the name and on this printer uh, we don't have green blue we don't have red and we don't have orange so these are the color inks that the Pro 100 uses cyan and photo cyan magenta photo magenta yellow black and grays so I've got everything checked for the inks that I'm using I'm gonna leave it on full page and now you'll see that we've created two setups we have one for the P400, and if we drop this down and select that, you'll see that we get the checkboxes back, and if we click Properties here, you'll see that the driver is still set up the way we set it up for the P400. Or we can drop it down and select the Canon Pro 100, and you'll notice that the checkboxes go back to what they should be for that. So we have two jobs now identified, and we could print right now. I could click Print, and it'll print a purge sheet to the Pro 100. And I can do this, change it over to the P400, click print, and it'll print one to the P400. So you can do that immediately, print immediately. But what I'm going to show you now is we can go in here and schedule these. So I'm going to click on schedule, and that brings up the scheduling tool. And what we have here is a baseline schedule at the top. And today is Friday, April 27th, 10 p.m. That would be the date and time of the first unclogged cycle. So that looks good to me. Uh, the first unclogged cycle will run tonight at 10 p.m. We're gonna print all jobs listed below, which is in here, at the above date and time, and then repeat every one day. And the repeat number of times, uh, negative one means go forever, and these options down here are pretty self-explanatory. I like to keep this one up because it'll pop up a little message 30 seconds before it's about to print. Um, and I often click this one here, but I've been testing, so I didn't uh, have it start when Windows starts. But you can do that if you like. So this here identifies your baseline schedule. It's basically a timer that will fire every day starting tonight at 10 p.m. So every night at 10 p.m. this baseline schedule will fire and it will print the unclogged jobs listed down here. Now by default, this is my first time in here, by default it adds the job listed on the previous screen. We were working with the P400 so it automatically puts that in here for you. Um, but what we're gonna do is going to select the Pro 100. Now you see when available unclogged jobs, these are the jobs that were saved from the previous screen. So we had saved one for the P1, the Pro 100 and one for the P400. And I'm going to go ahead and select this Pro 100 and then click Add. And it'll add that to the list as well. So now here are the two printers that will print every night, one day, at 10 p.m. But let's say now that we've added them to this list every setup that we see every job that we created on the prior menu the prior dialogue that appears in here will print but let's say we wanted to modify this baseline schedule. By default both of these will print on the schedule that we've identified up here but on the Pro 100 that one doesn't really need to be exercised as often and a lot of people know that the Pro 100 if you don't print for 60 hours it'll do a mini cleaning cycle 
I'm not going to get into that, but for the Pro 100, I'd like to print every two days on that. So I can come over here and drop this down and select every two days. And this per job cycle tuning basically just allows you to skip cycles. So it's based on the baseline schedule, but this modifies the schedule to your liking. So now if I click on the P400, the Epson printer, I'll see that that's scheduled to print every day. And if I click on the P100, I've selected every two days. So every day I will get an unclogged sheet or a purge sheet out of my P400. And every two days I will get an unclogged sheet out of my Pro 100. Um, keep in mind that just so that everything can start cleanly and sync up, um, all jobs listed here are printed the first time. So on this date and time of the first unclog cycle, every job listed in here, you could have 15 printers in here. All 15 will print on this date and time. And thereafter, they'll follow the schedule that you've selected here. So whatever job you've selected, you can see how often they're going to print. And again, it's based on this schedule up here. It's a modifier to this schedule. And this one print every two days. You can also do something like set the baseline schedule for every two days. Now we see that the P400 will print every two days and the Pro 100 will print every four days, but we have the capability to go all the way out to 14 days because basically these options are just allowing you to skip cycles in the schedule that's defined up here. But to keep it simple, I like to just keep this on one day. That way, when you're working with the schedule modifier down here, this per job cycle tuning, it's just one day, two days, three days, all the way out to seven. And you can choose what you want per printer, per job that's listed here. Okay, now we're done. We've got the two jobs identified. We're going to schedule purge sheets for both of these printers. They're both scheduled at a different rate. One's every one day, one is every two days. I'm going to click OK. Now it says, would you like to visually verify two unclogged jobs? And for this video, I'll say yes. I'll go ahead and do that. So the first job will come up and it's placed in the live view back here and you can see the settings over here that apply to it. This is the Epson P400. We can see the color management is off here. Um, and it says verify the jobs. This is job one of two. Does it look correct? Yes, that looks fine. Let's see what the next one looks like. You'll see this is for over here. We'll see it's for the Pro 100. And we'll see we have different colors here. We don't have red and orange appearing. So I know that this is correct because it's pulsing the right inks. Does job two of two look correct? Yes, it does. Now it just gives you a warning about uh, unattended printing comes with risks. Uh, I won't read that here for the purpose of the video. And then it asks you if you want to start the scheduler now. I'll say yes. Then it just tells you that the first jobs will print today at 10 p.m. And it brings you back to the dialog that you had open. I'll go ahead and close that. And now you're set up for QImage Ultimate being able to print those jobs unattended. And if we look up here, we take a look at this clock um, button here. And when it's got color, when it's blue, it means that the scheduler is on. If you hover your mouse over it, it'll tell you uh, the next unclogged print starts today at 10 p.m. To turn it off, just click on it. And now it'll say unclogged scheduling is off. Now it's not going to print anything. Turn it back on. Just click it. And it asks, are you sure you want to begin unattended printing of unclogged jobs starting today at 10 p.m.? Yes. So now it's back on. So that's how you turn it off, turn it back on. And there's even a shortcut here. If you'd like to get to this dialog that we chose, file, print, slash, schedule, unclogged jobs, you can just right click at any time on this button. And that's a shortcut to bring up those dialogs that we were working with here. And I don't need to change anything, so I'll just close that. 
and it goes back to the settings that I had. Now I can see that this is blue, so I know the scheduler is running. I can hover over it and it says next unclog print today at 10. Okay, that's what I expected. So now if I just want to get QImage Ultimate out of the way, I'll click File and then Minimize to System Tray. And that will put QImage Ultimate in the system tray running out of your way. It doesn't show up on your taskbar and it will be able to print at 10 p.m. Uh, when it's supposed to print those scheduled jobs. And anytime you want to bring it back up, you just go over to your system tray, click on the Q icon, and it'll bring up the, the window again. The reason we do that is because obviously you have to have the software running. You have to have QImage Ultimate running on the computer, and you have to have your printers turned on and not in sleep mode in order for these uh, unclogged sheets to be scheduled and to work properly. So hopefully that will give you a quick overview of how to use the unclog tool and how to schedule purge sheets to be able to keep your printers active and therefore be able to keep them printing smoothly without clogs. Thanks for watching the video.